Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be reviewing not only one, but two different sizes of the Love Look backpack. So stay tuned! Hi everyone, Perry here. I'd like to talk a little bit today about personal item bags. Now, personal item bags are usually defined by most airlines in America as 18 by 14 by 8. But recently, the sizes under the seats are getting smaller and smaller, and it's harder to get a personal size item under there and your feet, <laughs> which can be kind of uncomfortable. So today, I'm going to be testing out not only one, but two of the Love Look backpacks that I saw on Amazon to see if they work as a personal item size bag when I'm talking about strictly putting the stuff that I need for my flight and to make myself comfortable. Now you may ask, why am I trying out two different sizes? And it comes down to this. I do like to maximize my bag space, but some of the other airlines that are out there, especially European airlines, are making their bag, personal size bags, smaller and smaller and smaller. But airlines like British Air are not allowing that. Their maximum size bag is 14 by 12 by 6. That's kind of on the small side. So because of these differences in size, I decided to try out both sizes of the Lovuck personal backpack and see if when you stuff it, what, how does it come out and could I take it on a European flight as well as an American flight. So this is the smaller of the two Lovuck backpacks. And full disclosure, I really don't like backpacks. I just don't like carrying things on my back. But if it has a trolley sleeve, I'm okay with it. And since we're in the back here, let's take a look at the padding on the straps. And I have to say, they're really nice. Also, I think this is kind of cool. It's a little pocket here to keep your passport and stuff. I like that. There are two side pockets over here and a charging bank. So I guess you put your phone in it over here. You would charge it through this way. There's another pocket here and kind of clever. There's a pocket here. I think you can put tissues here if you wanted to or you could use it for a water bottle. Let's look at the front of the bag. So has really nice gold zippers and I have to tell you I'm loving the fabric. It feels really high quality. It doesn't feel like garbage. You have a pocket here. You also have two pockets here which is really nice. And a very deep pocket here. It's a pocket even here on the front. Over here. Over here another pocket and it's really deep. It goes all the way down. The top of the bag here has this wire framing around it. It makes for interesting packing because this is rigid. But let's take a look inside the bag. Well this makes really good sense. The charging cord here leads to a, let's try to get here, a pocket all the way down here on, on this side. So you can put your battery bank here. And then the opposite side is another pocket, just the same. The description wasn't clear about this, but there are two padded pockets here for computers. And I think the second one doesn't feel deep enough for a, an iPad, but I would say you could put a reader in there. And there's another pocket over here, which is goes all the way to the bottom of the bag. It's a really deep pocket. And I'm gonna rotate it around again. The pockets here, two pen pockets, and another with a slip-in pocket there. So this bag has no shortage of pockets, but let's see how it packs up when I pack it full of my personal items. So before I go and pack the bags, don't forget to show me your love and hit the like and subscribe button below. Now, I decided I'm gonna use this for my toiletry bag because I like the fact that it's right here in front and it has easy in and easy out as I'm going through TSA, which is definitely something I like. And let's see if it gets in there. And it does perfectly. Over here, I think I'm gonna just stick my sunglasses. And I have to tell you, I buy cheap sunglasses. That's a tip because I break them and I lose them. I also take two pairs of readers. 
course I have lost them and then I have an emergency pad. I'm gonna put that in there. Now this deep pocket, I think I'd put paperwork in there, which I don't have right now. And I'm gonna put my headphones in here so that I know that they're away from everything else and they won't get broken. Since over here we have the port, I'm gonna put my, my phone on the other side. This is a water bottle, by the way. Um, I fill it up once I get through TSA, ask the air attendants to fill it up with bottled water. So this is my emergency bag. This is in case they take my carry-on luggage and then they lose it. So what's in here is a set of pajamas, two pairs of underwear, two pairs of socks, and a shirt. That way I know I have a change of clothing when I get to my destination if they've lost my bag. So they find my bag. And I'm gonna put that right at the bottom there. Because I'm packing this bag in the order of need. My tech bag, I'm gonna put that on the side. And my handbag, convertible handbag that I always take with me. My crossbody bag. This is my electric mirror. I'm gonna have to put it in one of those little side pockets. I'm gonna put the power bank in the pocket that's next to here for the phone. This is a silicone bag that I wash and I use it over and over and over. Now, let me explain the purpose of the bag. The airlines don't clean out their pockets that you put your things in that are sitting in front of you. So I put this whole bag into that pocket. This way I know everything is clean. And then when I am done, I can just wash it on the outside and I know it's clean again for the next time around. And these I use to wash off the tray and the armrests and everything else. So there, there you go, it stays, everything stays very fresh. And I'm gonna put that in here too. And don't die laughing. These are for hotel slippers. Now I use these on the plane because sometimes you don't wanna be in your heavy shoes. That'll slip in there. Okay, so personal wipes, which I will put into one of the pockets here. My power cube, my emergency gift bag. Put that in there. Slip my computer in here. My day pack, selfie stick and video taking stick and everything else. Well, that's everything. Let's zip it up. Well, that was a ton of stuff and it zipped up just fine. And this is the smaller bag. So now for the measurement of the bag. Across the bottom, it's coming in as eight. And across the top, it comes in as five, which is what I kind of thought because of this very deep pocket. This is only coming in at 14. Across the back, it comes in at 11. The bag, once you fill it, measures differently than in the bag when it's empty. So now we're gonna go on and fill the other bag and see how it measures up. So this is the larger Lovac. It measures 17 by 12 by eight, according to what it says on Amazon. I put it in a different color so that it would be easier for you to identify. And I've checked, it has all the identical pockets that the other Lovac has, it's just bigger. <laughs> so we're gonna stuff this bag and see how it measures up. It came in as the same eight, six, so an inch wider here. This is 11 and a half across the back. Oddly enough, not even 13 in height. So when you fill this bag, because it's not as stuffed, it doesn't get as tall. They are kind of squishy bags. So there is that to take into consideration. So I just wanted to show this to you empty but this is the bigger bag, full, not so much. They're both pretty much the same. Uh, so it's kind of surprising, but that's why you have to test out these bags. So do I like the bag? I really do, despite myself and not liking backpacks. I think the quality is really good. I think it packs really easily. Um, I would say that there's almost virtually no difference between the 17 inch and the 15 inch, uh, other than maybe the width a little bit. Um, I think 
on smaller flights where like we're talking about the British Air flight and that bag's not going to cut it because uh, it's got that eight inches and they only allow six but you know I had this one bag full let's see if I squish it here it is I mean it is squishable I mean you could argue it if, it, if they make you put it into the size checker you could argue it that it's eh, you know yeah maybe it might make it in for the six inches the rest of the bag would fit so um i have to say i like the bag well i hope you found value in this video and if you did please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button below and i'll see you in my next video bye